All right, in this demonstration, we're going to install the client login extension. So previously, we used the configuration tool editor to modify our MSI file. So in this case here, we'll simply go ahead and just install. In this case here, we'll go ahead and just hit next, install, and finish. Next, we're going to need to do is actually go ahead and restart the computer. So go ahead and restart. Now that we've restarted, let's go ahead. You'll notice here that now we have the text there of the forgotten my network password. And when I click on this, what you'll see is that we're actually redirected to self-service password reset. Now in this case here, a user, if they've forgotten their password, can simply go ahead, provide their username. In this case here, we're using the advanced authentication. So an SMS is being sent to the end user. We'll enter this. And hit next. Now at this point here, you'll notice that now we're able to change our password. So in this case here, we've got to match this information. Again, as we're changing this here, you can see that uh, we're also using the identropy on this. With the identropy, what we're doing is we've actually got weak, strong, and very strong passwords. So in this case here, you'll notice that it's weak. Right. So now we've got a good password here, so we can go ahead and confirm that. We now see that they match. We can go ahead and do a change password. All right, so our password's been updated. We can now go ahead and close this. And now we can log in as our user using the new password. And we're now being logged into the workstation. Now that the user is logged in, the next item would be control alt delete to change the password. So in this case here, if we press control alt delete, we'll Now at this point here, the user has changed their password, so now they can log out, log in using this new password. Hopefully this has been helpful.